Hi, and welcome. Today we're going to review the MailChimp for NetSuite Sync Apps. So, if we go over to Kazumi and type in the word MailChimp, there's a couple of different service pages on the Kazumi site. But let's go down to the one that deals with MailChimp and NetSuite. So you can see here MailChimp NetSuite. Let's go ahead and click there. And this is the page. Kind of briefly goes over some of the major features, get two weeks free, what's the starting point of the prices on this, and how it does marketing automations, usually in a setup that's under five minutes. So, some of the top major features, or the professional plan above, are contacts, customers and leads, field mapping, marketing metrics back to the NetSuite. These are all done inside of the Sync profile. That's what I'm pointing out here. It shows you what that means in Sync Apps, which is actually just two application for the field mapping, scheduling around that profile. So, let's go ahead and open up and create a MailChimp for NetSuite Sync Apps. So in here, I can name it whatever I want. In this application, there's only five steps in the free trial. I'll show you the sixth one, which is scheduling. But if you get stuck at any point, just scroll over to our guides and try to find the sync notes. There, anything you might know or want to know in sync apps is covered in those sync notes. So here we have MailChimp for NetSuite set up. On the NetSuite screen, all you have to do is make sure that you add credentials, username, and password in your account. In the end, you can use a sandbox, of course, but you can use save searches as a test. Put some contacts and customers in it. And that will, upon syncing automatically, create a MailChimp group underneath a list that you named. You can add up to 60 multiple save searches in the sync profile here, which will start to create groups in MailChimp, and creates the segmentation that you want to create over there to segment your email marketing. Of course, we have other sync owns in here, so you can review those. See if they're a fit for your business, and then select them. Now, going back to MailChimp, you can create a contact customer lead inside of NetSuite automatically. So if you put them in a sync group or list and they're new, we will create them in NetSuite for you automatically. So that really adds value to anyone that's using multiple websites or web forms that are landing in MailChimp and want those people back into NetSuite. The MailChimp side of the screen is pretty simple. It takes two seconds putting your API key, name your master list. You'll have to create it in MailChimp first, then move here. Just copy and paste and put it in there in any group title that you want to use. If you don't want people coming back in NetSuite, go ahead and check the box with one-way sync, and then you're all set. So, once you click Next, you get some of the cool add-ons that we have in MailChimp NetSuite integration, like Twilio, which does call tracking. In the exact same way that you flow back marketing metrics from MailChimp, you can pull back call stats from any phone number that you put out on your marketing campaigns in MailChimp. And then, of course, in field mapping, we bring over the basic fields. So, if you want to see what is brought over, you can scroll over the sync notes. We describe that if you need more. Just go over to MailChimp, create those merge fields. Now come back over and refresh the fields here, and then map down. All right, I'm going to try to find one. Let's see birthday, something like that. So, let's see if we can find that CRM we have created. I'll just go ahead and find a birthday here. So, let's just test out birthday. We'll go ahead and map those fields. Now, what will happen in time, one of my sales reps, or let's say a high customer that we want to market to, we can tag their birthday, and it will come over to MailChimp. You can segment that list and go ahead and email market those that are in, let's say, July birthdays and give them some type of something from our company. So that's really the field mapping section. And you can come back to this and which group that coincide with that. To go further, we can also segment by products purchased using a NetSuite transactional save search so that on their birthday, we can remind them of items they might want to purchase again. 
Now on to sync scheduling. On a free trial, you don't need it because it's on demand, but inside of the paid plans, you can go down to five minutes here per profile. And then, of course, you can set that sync time, which is when the marketing metrics go back. So when we create a sync profile, you can see that it's very easy to do. Then, just go ahead and sync now. So you can, in the free trial, sync this on demand. You can put the plan, the list that you created, in MailChimp. You can send them emails, those marketing metrics that come back from NetSuite. You'll see those as custom records. So what will happen is those show up on a custom self tab on a contact or customer record. And then you'll be able to see that in real time here, as you can see, I've updated just a couple in NetSuite. And of course, they come back over to my master list inside of MailChimp. So that's pretty much it. And you can see at the very bottom here that if you want to download or report this app at the top, which you can download, and we'll say those that are opted out. So let's go over to MailChimp and you can see this fine list. This is the list that I'm actually syncing. All of my master list is here. Anytime that I sync that in any new people from NetSuite or new people from MailChimp will flow back and forth. So just remember, any changed data on the record in NetSuite will always come over here so they update their email address. If you want to convert a lead, that happens automatically. Or, if you want to update any type of information on the record and flow it over to MailChimp, so that your marketing is always in sync with what sales is updated on the NetSuite side. So, if I go back down into my MailChimp for NetSuite integration, and go ahead and edit that, press Next, you kind of see that I come back OK. Now I've tested it, and it works great. I want to ask some more save searches, so I've done some Dynamics saved searches. This time I'm going to add a customer, and I don't want to bring that over to MailChimp. So I can start a segment, the contacts on customers, and also the customers of just one contact. And that's really how saved searches drive your list and groups in MailChimp. So you can see, if I scroll down to the master list here and I view my subscribers, I can also just go into, uh, I believe that's actually under the other tab over here. Let's just go ahead and look at the groups of the saved searches in NetSuite that are creating automatically every time it syncs inside of MailChimp. So that really is the segmentation factor here, and it's pretty easy to get started. You can go ahead and come back and do some more save searches. If you need support and want to see what other customers are saying, just head to our community. Almost 2,000 people on here that post, and you have access to product managers, myself, and also if you want to go over to MailChimp and do some searches over there and see how it works, if you're new to MailChimp or if you just want information. If you get stuck and need quick help, you can also reach our team on support at kazumi.com as well. So there's an easy way to get started between an integration between MailChimp and NetSuite, and you get started with marketing automation in about five minutes. So go ahead and try it and let us know what you think. And if you're new to MailChimp, it's one of the best ones out there that we see for building email campaigns.